Hi, this is Matt Nelson, president of CGC, and today I'm going to talk about the certification of international comic books. Now, many comic books uh, that are international are unique to their country of origin and have been around as long as U.S. comics have. But by the 50s, we start to see Marvel and DC comics appearing in different countries, different languages, and sometimes even different covers and interiors as well. To start with, we have some examples of Spider-Man here from different countries. And you can see the covers are similar to their U.S. counterparts. Uh, some of them are, are somewhat different. The titles are different. And for each of these comic books, CGC is going to identify the country of origin, the publisher of that comic book, and also uh, what appears on the interior. Sometimes the interiors uh, mirror their U.S. counterpart, sometimes they don't. Sometimes they have different stories altogether or additional stories. Sometimes they're in black and white or in color. And here I have Spider-Man number 252, published in 1984, featuring the first black costume. It's a comic book that we're all familiar with. But here we have Inderkoppen number 11, which is published in Norway in 1986, two years later. So for this international edition of Spider-Man 252, CGC identifies it as Spider-Man 252 on the label, and below that lists the international title, in this case, Inderkoppen number 11 from 1986. We've identified Inderkoppen number 11 as the first black costume for Spider-Man, just like Spider-Man 252, even though it appeared two years later. CGC identifies first appearances in different countries the same way they do in the U.S., even if those issues appeared later, because that's the first time that people in that country were seeing that issue. As I mentioned earlier, the interiors of international comics often do not match their U.S. counterparts. Here's an example. This is Fantastic Four number one, Mexican edition, uh, which actually was published in 1962, less than a year after the, uh, the American version was. Now this actually does contain the, the story of Fantastic Four number one, and we list it as being the first appearance of Fantastic Four, being the first time that uh, people in Mexico would have seen this issue and these characters. But this issue of Fantastic Four number one, which was published in South Africa in 1976, does not contain the story of Fantastic Four number one in it. Instead, this one has the story of Fantastic Four number 95. As CGC continues to certify these fascinating international editions, we'll keep you posted on the international market and how it's developing. Submit your comics at cgccomics.com and follow us on social media at CGC Comics.